but obviously I'm gonna have to uh, I don't have to sort that. Obviously I've got a lot planned for the future. Is it 60 key that? But it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. That's me. It is what it is, isn't it? So I haven't done all this for ages. Should be should I be doing light? I don't know. Will I feel stiff when I get up to glints if I do this? I don't know. Is this gonna, if I do this, will it help me punch Spencer Fearing in head? Hey? <laughs> Fixing this is gonna be too heavy for me, this. Come oh, on. One, nice and steady. Leave it down there, two. Too many people bounce it off the chest, don't they? Do you know what I mean? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I need to change it to incline, I think. Yeah, that's why I think it's off the top bit, isn't it? But we'll see, won't we? Oh, I'm gonna grab that on my own. See, you know when you haven't got a club, you're knackered, aren't you? I'll just stick to a uh, flat bench, I think. Stick to it flat. Uh, Should we reduce it? Have a look. I ain't got a fucking clue what I'm doing here. I haven't got a clue. Uh, boxers, I'd have thought they'd do rep out, don't they? Do loads of reps. You don't want to be feeling stiff, do I? I don't want to be like Joshua, do I? You don't you just go for speed, is it? Should we put this on? Should we put this on here? Little little dog bone. Should we put the dog bone on? Put the dog bone on. Have a look. But like I said, boxing, it's on everybody's lips. For but but well, I just don't think the cake is getting shared out properly. I don't think so at all. At all. No, well, I don't think cake's getting shared out. I don't think so, I don't think it's fair. Uh, I know I give Steffi Bull a lot of shit, don't I, but that show he's putting out is everybody, or everybody on that show that he's put, putting out on the 23rd, all the people that I don't personally think he's got big plans for. There's nobody on that show who he's got big plans for. Nobody, I don't think so. I don't think he's bothered about Kyle Youssef, for example. Kyle Youssef's 15 and 0, right? And he's just been in with a kid, Norton 12. But how often do you see a young prospect who's coming through and is doing really good, 15 and 0, fighting a guy, Norton 12? Conor Ben's 16 and 0, isn't he? If he got in with a guy, Norton 12. That's 12 losses, no wins. They'd be hell on, wouldn't they? So what are they doing? <laughs> he ain't even got an opponent yet, Kyle Youssef. And fight week's next week. So, people want to pick holes in our show. Well, go look at their shows. Go look at your own, go look at your own house. His main people are Anthony Tomlinson, Terry Harper, and he wants, he wants David Allen on his show, doesn't he? So, and Dave will probably want to get on it if it's a Sky show, so... You know, everybody, everybody will pay each other lip service. So that's just how it goes, isn't it? That's just how it goes. But my opinion is this. He'll do some at Tomlinson, and Terry Harper's already done some at, not you? And Dave Allen, he might win a central area, if he's lucky, if he gets matched correctly. When Dubois has gone off the British scene, you'll see Dave Allen jumping into position to get a belt. We're good matchmaking, Dave Allen will do it, but he'll wait it out. Because he's got another 10 years on, it, on, his, on his side, really, to be a British champion. So, Dave will get a British title, but... Because if Sam Sexton can get one, Dave can, can't he? 
But it is what it is, isn't it? It's boxing, isn't it? It's just how it goes. Do you know what I mean? It's just how it goes. But personally, I think if Dave Allen had stayed with Dennis, he could have done something. But one thing about Dennis, if you mess him about, well, he'll fuck you off. If you mess Dennis about, he'll fuck you off. That's what he'll do. Dave Allen messed him about, want training. He got fucked off, didn't he? That's it. So you've got to be dedicated. Dave Allen's got talent. But is he dedicated? Well, we're going to see, aren't we? We're going to see. Seven, eight. We're going to see. So, just a bit of a loosener. Just a bit of a loosener. Are you watching, Steffi? I know you are. Come see me. Come see me anytime you want, Steffi. I'll have a boxing one. Then we'll get the dressing yarns on. We'll do some judo. Whatever you want to do, Steffi. Come see me. Size six. Didn't know we were boxing shoes up here now. <coughs> no look. Two and a half. Two and a half dog biscuits going on now. <laughs> hey, got dog bones on now. Little dog biscuits. <coughs> Let's check what time it is. Let's check what time it is. Time, you know, we're setting off about 10 to 3. I want to give a shout out to my good friend Robin Reed, Robin Reed Multivits. If you want any of these, uh, just go to Robin Reed's website, Robin Reed Multivits. Uh, all right, then, don't know if they work though. Uh, uh, it's boring this isn't it, I'd rather be eating punch bag than doing this. I'd rather be eating the punch bag. But what can you do? It's got to be done hasn't it? We can't have Spencer fear and thinking us people up north have got no knackers, can we? Do you know what I mean? Six, seven, eight, nine. Do you know when I was 20? When I was 20, when I was 23, right, weighed 11 stone, I weighed 11 stone dead, about 152, 154, right, and I did a 115 bench press for two reps, 115 kilo for two reps, obviously bounced it on my chest, right, probably could do probably 105 steady for two or three, but no body weight on me then, well that were 30 kilo above my body weight. No, but yeah, probably 30, 35 key above my body weight. If I wanted to do that now, it'd be, Jesus, I don't know, I won't be able to do it. So I was stronger than I am now when I was 11 stone and 26 years ago. Because if you let it go, you lose it, don't you? That's what I think. So, so health is wealth, Robin Reed tells me. So we've got to try and get some form of discipline into myself and uh, get, it out, get it out of my system when I get up to Glen, get up to Glen Rose Gym and uh, probably do a bit at Richards in this week to Towers Gym Chris Smedley give me a ring or are you not talking? not replied back to me Chris Give me a ring, pick your brains before I get in with Spencer Fearon. What do you reckon, Chris? How many is that now? Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay, 50 key, is it? 50 key? 
Hvis det kæger den, job er jeg. Nice and steady. We could turn this into a training exercise, couldn't we, for the chest. Nice and steady. Not, not bouncing off my chest. I'm lacking now. Nice and steady. Well, that nine or ten. Oh God, it kills if you do it slow, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, we'll go down scale now. Down. But whatever happened to Martin J. Ward? What happened to him? Martin J. Ward, he's a good fighter, isn't he? What happened to... What happened to Steffi Bull's show? On the 23rd of November. Well, Dempsey Wales, one of 12 fighters on the show, but they've only got three opponents. Lee Appleyard's got an opponent, but the other two, Dempsey Wales' opponent, it ain't gonna be him. Hamid is not fighting Dempsey. And Joe Ducker's just signed for Carl Greaves, and he's not gonna be fighting on 23rd. So, out of them 12, Steffi, you've only got one opponent, so. Fight weeks next week, what's happening with other 11 opponents for your fighters? Doing bits, Steffi. Hashtag doing bits. Give me a call, Steffi. I'll have you on the channel. Give me a call. Give me a call. I'll get you on the channel. And then when I've done with Spencer, I'm going to deal with you for all your pals. Give me a call. Come see me. I've got... I've got all right, sir. Come see me. Don't chat shit. Come see me. And make sure when you watch my videos in your gym, make sure you get it on big screen. Get a big screen up in the gym like Dennis's. Big massive screen. Don't be watching it on, on your phone. Then again, you've got about 25 accounts on you. Oh, he'll not get these next three out. He's struggling. He might drop it in his mouth and knock the rest of his teeth out. <laughs> I used to do this one in jail, this one here. It's, uh, you go up and you go down and you don't need a lot of weight on. I mean, I can quite easily come in here, probably do a 9,500 kilo, two or three reps, but no one needs to spot me. And um, what can I say? It's not really what I'm looking for. Mick Whale wants me loose, doesn't he? You know what I mean? He wants me loose. Do you remember the old Mick Shannon? Mick, you watching me? Do you remember Mick Shannon when he used to score? Do you remember then? He used to do that. I might need to bring that back. Do you know what I mean? Need to bring it back. Hey, I don't know. Life as a white collar boxer. What's it all about? What's it all about? Eh? What's it all about? So what have we got here? Thirteen minutes. Well, I think uh, one more set on here. Chest. So if you work your chest. You've already worked your tricep because you're pushing up. So chest and triceps. And then on Wednesday, because I'm going to have to have a rest day tomorrow from this. Wednesday, I can do back because you're pulling with your arms out for your back. And because you've already worked your arms a little bit, back and biceps. I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. So today, chest and triceps. Wednesday, back and biceps. Thursday, shoulders. And then Tom Platts, in it, legs. We don't say legs no more. We say Tom Platts, don't we? The quad father. Quadzilla. Quadzilla, in it, Steffi. Hashtag doing bits. Hashtag chippy tits. Shout out to Dave Allen as well. Keep their messages coming. <sighs> Right, I'm 
write that down so we know where we're going. I've got a chart. I've got a chart and what I do, I'll put it on my chart. Oh, it's here. <laughs> One me and Kev started a bit back. Well, if you write everything down, if you write everything down and save everything, a bit like phone calls, you know when you have phone calls with people in boxing industry, you've got to make sure you remember everything, haven't you? So write everything down. Write everything down and somebody rings you up and says, oh, can you get me any tie that's pork or can you tell Dennis that so-and-so is not going to be fighting on this day? Write it down, don't you? Go to bed with your pad next to your bed. Then you remember the next day. It's called being organised, isn't it? What was that? How many sets for that? Four. 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 So that's that done. So it's now triceps, isn't it? Little dog bones for triceps, isn't it? Hang on, I need a triceps now. Triceps is that, isn't it? Trying to think how to do it. You can do seated, can't you? I wonder if you can do it with this. Oh, this here, hang on a minute. I think that might be too heavy for triceps. Oh, that's too heavy. Too heavy for what I want to do. See, boxing training, I look at it like this. It's not all about lifting heavy weights, is it? You've got to be, what's the word? Just got to be loose, haven't you, I suppose? As long as you're doing a bit, you're all right, aren't you? Doing bits. Isn't it, Steffi? What do you reckon, Dave? Doing bits? Hashtag doing bits. What do you reckon? Doing little bits. Put these little dog bones on. Get these little dog bones on. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that for a little bar there. Laughable, isn't it? If you do it correctly, if you do it correctly, well, you're all right, aren't you? You know what I mean? This equipment in here, let me tell you this, right? This equipment, uh, I had a treadmill, I sold it to Steffi Bull, 350 quid. I get 1200 quid for it, this tre treadmill. The brocket didn't run, I did five kilometers on it, I never used it. I bought a treadmill, and I bought all this, uh, on, on a, when I lived in a penthouse, and I had everything in the spare bedroom in the penthouse. When I moved to Cunningsborough from Orkley, obviously I had two kids, didn't I? Twins. All this stuff were no good, so it's been laid about, hasn't it? No, I put it in my shed. Tell a lie, I put it in my shed. I put it in my shed and uh, didn't really use it hardly because it's always cold outside, isn't it? And obviously now I've been lucky enough to get. Uh, well, I've got three officers here now, and I'm only using really that there and this but so I don't know what I'm going to do with this uh, now that Kev's moved to another factory I don't know what I'm going to do to be honest I don't know but I'm sure we'll find a home for it but like I said it was I think I spent I spent about three grand in one day on everything there's other bits and bobs as well as a seated thing there and the, the actual these discs here, these big rubber discs thing, fortunes. But now this is just triceps there, it's just to finish off. Nothing heavy, just nice and light. And you've got to try and find tension, aren't you? Yeah, that's it. Look, like little dog bones, aren't they? But getting back to the KSI, I want impressed. I want impressed. I mean if they were already multi-millionaires, weren't they? Hey, already multi-millionaires. All it were, basically, I don't feel comfortable doing that. 
All it were, were people like Eddie Earn and Shannon Briggs getting paid. Now, Shannon Briggs got a million dollars. Shannon Briggs. Unbelievable, isn't it? Shannon Briggs getting a million dollars. And he's also bullied his way. Shannon, you're a prick. You're a fucking prick. I'm saying you're a prick, Shannon Briggs. All right? You are a prick. You're a liar. You're a thief. You've borrowed money off everybody in boxing. People in boxing, stay away from Shannon fucking Briggs. The guy's a fucking rip-off cunt. Alright, he's a fucking ripper. So, there you go. Shannon Briggs rips people off. And I know people that have trained him in America. Alright? I know people that know him. Alright? Stay away from Shannon Briggs. He's a hustler. No, and he'll rip you off. He don't give a fuck. He's bullied his way into that Logan Paul circle. And now he's acting as a bodyguard or something. Look, he's there to rip you off, mate. He's there to rip you off. You're not like me. I knock around with Dennis, don't I? He's my mate first, isn't he? Yeah, we have his ups and downs. And yeah, I've fucking said some horrible things to Dennis in the past and we've had some proper fallouts. But if I've got something to say, I am going to say it. Because when nobody pays you, you can say what you fucking want, can't you? All right? When they pay you, you can't say fuck all, can you? What can you say? You've got an house to pay for, a mortgage, a car on finance. Scottish widow's pension, you can't say shit, can you? I don't like it. I'll say some Which brings me to AJ. Thank you very much. AJ Hobson, thank you for that this morning. I won't forget that, mate. I won't forget that. Thank you very much, AJ. You know what I'm on about. You are one of the best people I've ever met in boxing. Alright, one of the best people. Unsung hero, and you put your money where your mouth are when you had Sam Sheedy. So I've got a lot of love for you, AJ. Thank you for that. I won't forget. But, but yeah, what a load of shit. KSI Logan Paul, load of shit. Load of shit, like me fighting Spencer Fearing, load of shit. But it's got to be done, Spencer, hasn't it? Warmed up now, it's got to be done. I'm ready for a tear up now. I was ready, I'm ready. I just have to wait. I just have to wait. <laughs> I'm just going to have to wait for you, Spencer. I'm going to wait for you. It's a nice picture, that, isn't it? It's a very nice picture. But yeah, I'm just going to have to wait for you, Spencer. That's all. I'm just going to have to wait for you, mate. I'm just having a light workout. Ugh. fuck I'm doing here to be honest I don't know you just gotta fucking try haven't you if you don't know what you're doing try it's a bit like with channel isn't it I don't know what I'm doing I still don't know what I'm doing but you know I've kamikaze in my way in Anna I've kamikaze in my way into this position Anna so you know love me or hate me I don't know if you haven't got my whatsapp number you who gives a fuck but for all them people who haven't got my whatsapp number on final channel Thank you very much. Uh, emails. Let me just come. Let me just go over the email bit. People sending emails in because we have people like Steffi Bull who want to send comments non-stop. I mean, they're even commenting now on my channel as Andrew Bullcroft. <laughs> look, you've run out of accounts, aren't you, Steffi? Right. This is how I look at it. Because of people like Steffi Bull and a couple of other people around him, people in his gym, and they know who they are. Because of people like that, the email thing, if you want to get in touch with me for anything regarding, I don't know if it's sponsorship or media inquiries or anything like that, I want to speak to you on the telephone. Right? So that means you have to leave your number. No one's sending emails and we end up on wild goose chasers and all that. A bit like the Alan Minter one, I don't know who did that, uh, but I actually spoke to this person. Um, well, I fell for that one, didn't I? All the way to Kent to interview Alan Minter, and it was a mess about 421 mile round trip. 421 mile. So, yeah, got me on that one, didn't you? Got me on that one. Whoever you are, I bet you were sat at home thinking, oh, God, I really ripped Porky off. All you did basically was give me a bit of space and time to think. Now on the way down there, I got my videos done on the way down there and on the way back. You give me a couple of days away from everything I'm doing up here. And when I filled up at the petrol station, when I got home, I filled it up and it was, I think I filled up next morning, £46 summer. So 
I got 421 mile before after filling up and I come back filled it up and it clicked 46 pounds summer so that's not bad going that is it 420 odd mile 46 quid that's not bad is it so and I've done new key in the same car on 60 quid all right there and back new key 60 quid so that's not bad is it hey 700 mile from 60 pound well they were on red actually it would have full tank so I don't know what were left in the tank but I filled it up 72 quid and there was still some left I think when light comes on you've got exactly two gallon haven't you so not bad going that is it 60 70 quid to go to Newquay and back so 60 mile an hour all the way there it's one road isn't it but as regards the Kent affair Alan Minter no it didn't happen but I had somebody one of my friends Mark Tibbs contacted this was a couple of months ago he got in touch with Alan Minter's family for me and we're going to try and sort some out. Hopefully I'll be able to get Alan Minter on the channel. It might be by telephone or it might be by uh, me going back down there. So I want to thank Mark Tibbs for that. So, and the person who sent me down there, well, all you've done is put me in a position where I can sort of speak to people and then say, hey, there's some cans out there, ass. Leave it with me, I'll see what I can do. Now, when you've got people like that, like Mark Tibbs, who's gone out on a limb for me there, and probably, they've probably said, who is this kid? Oh, it's so-and-so and blah, blah, blah. And that's good, isn't it? That's really, really good. So thank you, Mark Tibbs, for that. And the person that sent me down there, well, shame on you. But let me just say this to you. <laughs> if I'd have sussed you out, 10 minutes later, I'd have already paid for my hotel, so I managed to get back, and then I have to pay for the hotel. So, it backfired on you, kid. It's all it's done. It's made everything, made everything that I've been saying about social media that in the boxing industry there's fucking cunts. And you know what you're on about, don't you? So, I didn't put Martin Bowers in my video. My current top 10 trainers that are active in the UK at the moment. The reason I didn't put Martin Bowers is, is because I just nipped out for something to eat and uh, 